Okay, welcome everyone. Hi, welcome to Blinks and Blanks Academy. My name is Kiki Okewale. I am the CEO of Blinks and Blanks Academy. And you know, this is where we show you how you can make money using your craft. Um, in my earlier video, I showed you how to create a logo using your own um using Canva, on paid Canva to create a logo. You know, we played with different colors. Anyways, today I I want to show you how you can remove background, especially when you're not on the paid Canva, okay? So if you're here to watch that video, I would advise you to pause this one, go back there and watch that video about how to use Canva to create your own logo in minutes. It's very, very important for you to understand that before we go ahead. All right, so today I want to show you how we're going to be removing background from images before we import it to Canva. Okay, so we're going to play with two things. There's the logo we designed the last in the last video. We'll be removing that background. And there's also a video, a, an image we will bring in all the way from Pinterest, which can be any picture that you want to use. So basically, the first thing you want to do is go to BG Remover, which is background remover which is right here on the screen, background remover, okay? Click on it and upload your image. It's as simple as ABC. And I am going to look for the logo we did. This is in my documents, in my downloads rather. So we did these videos. If you were in that class, then you would not be surprised because you already know what we're talking about. All right, so this is the logo and oh my God, voila, it's already done. All right, so let's go ahead and download this. That's it. And now we have a logo that you can use on your videos, you know, on Instagram, on social media. Um, you can put this as, a, um, you know, that branding thing you see on people's videos or pictures where it's just there, it has no background. This is it. All right, so that's that. Now let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and let me see, maybe even, so that's done. For you to do another one, you basically just go back, upload. Um, so I'm just gonna remove the backgrounds we want to remove at once. So let me just show you the places you can also find images, okay? So let's quickly go to um, Pinterest right here, okay? We're gonna be going to Pinterest so that you can um, download. All right, so let's go to Pinterest. Pinterest is where ah, you find all kind of images, all kind of images. Let's say you want to design a logo or you want to design, I don't know, I don't know, anything basically. Uh, you can come here, look for all, all of these things. My students would not be shocked with Pinterest because, I mean, I've showed them the magic of, you know, the possibilities of Pinterest. However, let's look for something like a, I said something here now. All right, so let's say we want to say, but God. All right, let's see. Click on these three arrows, download the image. All right. Um, I'm going to look for two things just in case. Um, so it's very good for you to remove backgrounds because then you can use different things. Okay, so let's say this lady right here. Okay, so this one, once you click that three dots and it doesn't let you um, download, it means that you can't. I mean, some people go ahead and screenshot. But if I can't download it, then I might as well leave it. Let's see this. So this is download image. All right, so let's look at this as well. You are beautiful. Download image. Like, I literally spend hours on this Pinterest because there's so much, so, so much to do. So, so much to do, right? So let's say you're even looking for something like um, DTF designs. 
you know, let's say you're looking for something nice to use, which is free, you know, make sure you're always using free things so that they don't go and sue you. <laughs> All right, so let's say we're picking this one, summer loading, yeah. All right, so that's done, it's downloaded. Now let's go and look for, so make sure you're checking the name so that it's not so difficult for you to, so we go to downloads and let's look for the things we just, um, what are the names? I think there was one that was rhinestone. So you always have to know the name because you don't know the name. Let's see. Let's come to our download here and see. One is unknown, one is moves permanently, one is your beautiful. All right, so let's go look for, let's go look for your beautiful, okay? If you don't, if you don't get the name right, you are beautiful, okay? You are beautiful. Let's go. You are. All right, it's right here. You are beautiful, it's right here. Upload. Uh, and the background is removed. Now, you can see the background is removed and it still looks nice. However, there are sometimes you, you remove some backgrounds and it has cut out the beauty of the image. Then you have to know better not to use the background, you know, not to remove that, use that image. All right, so now that this is done, let's go back to our screen. Free Canva right here. So the essence is so important that I'm using the free one to show you because in the paid one, more or less, you have access to everything. So if I'm using the free I paid one to show you, you won't see how you can actually do a lot of things you know, with the free one. So that's why I am in the free one right now. Um, how do you know you're in the free one? Look at your screen here. It, sh it shows Try Canva Pro. It means that you are in the free one. You remember the last one we created these logos and they're right here, right? Okay. So um, we want to bring in the design. Let's say we want to create a, a design now and we want to bring in that image. So let's say for today, we want to create a, a coat. So I've showed you how to remove background. I'm going to show you how you can bring that background into the app. All right. So let's say we want to do um, a coat. Go to your search. And you look at different things. So this one, I just want to show you. All right, so let's say we pick this one. All right, so now you need to remember that if you are using, um, if, you are, if you want to post it on Instagram, right, as your post, there's, there's sizes for that. If you want to put it on your story, there's a size for that. If you are using the wrong sizes, then it's a problem. You have to make sure that you are using the right size. So let's say you want to do social media, Instagram posts. Look at all the options of things you can do. Let's say you want to do Instagram posts. It gives you the template that is the right size for um, templates. If you want to use anyone you find as well, it's not that you can't, but with a paid one, you might not be able to use it, okay? So let's say we want to use, I want to use one that we, you can put your logo in, right? As branded, all right? So, okay, let's say I want to pick this one. We customize this template. Also remember, I'm going to go back. Also remember to be picking free templates. Remember to be picking free templates. Okay, so this one is showing paid. Paid. 
All right, so you have to make sure you are picking the free ones. The free ones don't have anything on top of it, okay? So let's go look for one that is free. You can see there's a lot that is also free. Um, I'm just looking for one that I I really, really like. And you see how we'll be using your brand colors to create the design. Okay. All right, let's say maybe we want to use this one. All right, here we go. Um, now that your eyes are open, make the sun jealous with your burning passion to start the day. Make the sun jealous or stay in bed. All right, so what we want to do is we want to customize it and bring in our logo, right? So you will come to upload and you will upload file, which is going to be under, which is the one we just saved right i want to be sure this is the one without the background you want to be sure you are bringing the one without the background so this is not the one without the background i'm just going to go ahead and delete it okay let's go look for the one on the background the one that we remember we removed the background right that's what you want to bring in and you will see the difference between all right so this is it black logo removed so we've removed the background here and you can see it, when it comes here it is without a background so look at that it is without a background so let me show you actually let me bring the other one up for you to see the difference between the two is the same logo one is with background and one is without background you can see if you want to put this here now you it, it doesn't really look nice but if you put this one it looks really nice right even though the colors don't pop so we're going to go ahead and change the color of this background So let's see. So if this color cannot be changed, we will basically just go back to background, pick a color that can make it change. So what's happening in this one is a design. So the color can be changed, right? But you can change the background color such that your logo is popping so look at this so let's go look for colors you have options you can see the color is popping um i remember this particular one our colors we played with different colors we had orange and we had um gold but if you let's see what the orange will look like you can see the color is not popping on the orange and on the gold we need contrasting colors right and what we can also do is if we want to make it pop on here, we can expand this one and then bring the logo in. But I feel like this is not even this is not even popping on this particular one. So we might need to change this one entirely. You know, maybe put this up. Can you see what I've done? So this covers the words. Because you also want, you don't want your design planned, right? So, and then let's come and look for a new color. Let's look for a new color. Yeah. Because our color has purple. If you look at our logo, it has purple. So, we can now go ahead and put our logo here. And then let's say we don't want this sunflower. You can change your text, remember? You can change the, the, the font, which is, you know, you have different fonts here. Make sure you're using the free one. You can change the text that you're using as well. Just come to text and pick a new text. 
that you want, right? And then we can change the image here. So now that your eyes are open, so we can go to our photos and look for morning. Because that message is saying something about when you wake up, right? So you can change this image. Um, if we say good morning, let's see what happens. Okay, this is not a free one. That's why he has that mark. So you can see he has pro on it. Always remember to check to be using the ones that are free. So this is free. And this has good morning, but I don't like how the design is not full. So I'm going to go ahead and look for something else that is free. And put this here. Yeah, that looks good like, you know, morning. But let's see if we're still going to find something else. So in this video, I've been able to show you how you can remove your background, right? Which is very important. Let's see this good morning. I'll move this here. Mm, not bad. Uh, not bad, but let's see if we can find something even better. So I will be showing you two things. One, how you can do the logo. And one, how you can you bring your design in um, to create a... A flyer but i'll try not to make the videos long so once i'm done showing you with the logo i will go ahead and show you how to design from scratch okay um let's see mm, no 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 all right i think i would like this one yeah i think i would like this awesome now, you can always bring in your own picture as well, if you have a picture. Let's say, for example, I have my own picture. I bring my picture in. As I say, it doesn't always have to be pictures online. You can always bring your own picture in. So let's say I want to bring my own picture to design. And then you can always change the color of your font as well. Let's say I want to change the color. You can see it's not popping. The orange can still work. If I want to go for the orange, but I want a deeper orange, I can just come here, make it deeper so that the words are showing. So it totally aligns with my design. And I'm changing this design here to the color of my... So this is now looking like the color of my, um, my brand, right? You want to make sure that you're using colors of your brand okay so this is what i'm gonna do then i want to bring in my image now just for you to see that um you don't always have to use look at that isn't that beautiful yes it is and we've been able to put our logo here so automatically when you post this and anybody wants to repost it you know they would um they would be advertising for you so to speak one other thing you can do is, you know, rewrite your quote. Let's say now your eyes are open. Make the sun jealous with your burning passion to start the day. Um, you can remodify it and say, I am rooting for you. Right? And then that has become your quote because you're not using as it is. All right, look at that. Look at that, isn't it pretty? Now, what we have here, let's try and see how we can make this move up so, so that, you know, you can make it bigger if you want. Right. Yep. So, this is a customized um, template you can use. You know, you can use it for your quotes, you can use it for your affirmation, you can use it for money. You can create your own content calendar and always just customize it. So, yeah, that's it for this class. Um, I show you how you can create your own 
um, flyer or basically, you know, bring in. So what I'm trying to really show you here is how to remove background and export it onto your Canva, which I've been able to show you. Um, in the next video, I will show you how you can create a design from scratch, okay? And, you know, whether you want to use it for DTF or you want to you turn it into um, something you can put right stone or sublimate, you know, any of that. So that's it for this class. I hope you've gotten value. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. Make sure you let me know if you enjoyed this class so that I can do more. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you watch my next video. All right. Bye-bye.